another day, another story. Peace and greetings, fellow truth seekers and network of awareness. Or the information list here to present a network of awareness episode and phenomenon that silently weaves its way through the fabric of our lives, leaving behind spells of limitation that hinder our potential and cloud our perception of reality. The art of manipulation executed through the methods like gaslighting and social conditioning has the power to cast these spells, rendering individuals powerless and questioning their worth in the intricate tapestry of society. Gaslighting, a term derived from the 1944 film Gaslight, describes a subtle yet potent form of psychological manipulation. It is a technique employed by those who seek to control others by making them doubt their own thoughts, memories, and feelings. Picture a scenario where reality becomes a mirage and the ground beneath your feet shifts with every step. Gaslighting is the art of creating this illusion. The gaslighter, with a mastery of deceit, chips away at the foundations of a person's self-perception. They may dismiss the victim feelings, invalidate their experiences, and even go so far as to rewrite history. The insidious nature of gaslighting lies in its ability to make the victim question their sanity, leaving them feeling disoriented and powerless. Imagine a scenario where someone consistently undermines your beliefs, making you question the very essence of who you are. Over time, this erodes your confidence, leaving you vulnerable and hesitant to make decisions. The gaslighter, in their quest for control, casts a spell that shackles your autonomy, making you doubt your ability to navigate the complexities of life. The consequences of such manipulation are profound. A person subjected to gaslighting may find themselves trapped in a cycle of self-doubt, struggling to trust their own judgment. The pervasive feeling of powerlessness can extend to all aspects of life, hindering personal and professional growth. This spell of limitation becomes a heavy burden, stifling individual potential and robbing them of the joy of self-discovery. Gaslighting, however, is not the only thread in this tapestry of manipulation. Enter social conditioning, a process through which individuals learn to think and behave in ways deemed acceptable by society. From the moment we enter this world, we are bombarded with messages that shape our beliefs, values, and perceptions of the world around us. Social conditioning operates through a network of subtle influences. The media, family, peers, and cultural norms all contribute to the molding of our identities. While it is a natural part of the human experience to be shaped by our environment, the danger arises when these influences become a rigid framework that confines us. Consider a society that dictates what is acceptable, what is beautiful, and what is worthy of respect. Social conditioning, when yielded without empathy, can create a narrow path for individuals to thread. It imposes a set of values that may align with one's authentic self, fostering a sense of alienation and inner conflict. The spell of limitation woven through social conditioning tightens its grip over time. Individuals find themselves conforming to societal expectations, suppressing their true desires and aspirations. The fear of judgment and rejection become a powerful force preventing them from pursuing their own unique path. The result is a life lived in accordance with external expectations rather than in harmony with one's genuine aspirations. Breaking free from these spells of limitation 
requires a courageous journey of self-discovery and introspection. It demands an unwavering commitment to unravel the threads that bind us, reclaiming our autonomy and rediscovering the authenticity buried beneath the layers of manipulation. Gaslighting and social conditioning are powerful tools, but they derive their strength from our collective acquiescence. By raising awareness, these subtle forms of manipulation, we empower individuals to recognize the signs and resist the pull of these spells. To break the spell of gaslighting, one must learn to trust their own perceptions and seek validation from within. It requires a commitment to self-reflection building a fortress of self-esteem that shields against the undermining tactics of manipulators. By fostering a community that values open communication and empathy, we can dismantle the power of dynamic that enables the gaslighting to thrive. Similarly, overcoming the limitations imposed by social conditioning demands a conscious effort to question societal norms and expectations. It requires individuals to embark on a journey of self-discovery, peeling away the layers of external influence to reveal the core of their authentic selves. By cultivating a culture that celebrates diversity and individuality, we can create a society that encourages personal growth and fulfillment. In conclusion, the spells of limitation woven through gaslighting and social conditioning are insidious forces that thrive in the shadows of our collective consciousness. It is our collective responsibility to bring them into the light, to unravel the threads that bind us, and to create society where every individual can flourish authentically. Let us stand together, armed with awareness and empathy, and break the spells that hinder the realizations of our true potential. Thank you for watching.